What's that? That vibration? Hey, wait. Someone is coming. You. You haven't given up yet? Oh, it's all over for us. What do you mean? I just received a message from my boss. This space colony arc is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. It probably will impact Earth. What's that on the screen? This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculations are correct, the space colony arc will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed, along with your beloved planet Earth. getting What's worse. All this? Professor Gerald Robotnik, one of the greatest scientific minds in the world, and my grandfather. What? I knew you were behind all this. Stop it right now, or else... I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance. What do you mean? You're pretty persistent for a hedgehog, aren't you? You're still alive. <laughs> Just huh? letting Knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous than you could ever be. What is this? This is my grandfather's diary. I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, I hope you are all safe. The colony, the colony was completely was shut down, down, probably to probably keep the prototype, keep the prototype from prototype falling into the wrong hands. Into the wrong hands. The Ark was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. I found Maria's name among those who died when the Ark was shut down. She meant everything to me, and I couldn't bear the thought that she died because of my research. I lost everything. I had nothing more to live for. I went insane. All I could think about was to avenge her. Somehow, some way, I got scared as I no longer was able to control my thoughts. All I could think about was that I wanted it all to Based on my original projections, I was able to complete my project, Shadow. I designed its mind to be perfect, pure. I will leave everything to him, if you wish. Release and awaken it if to the world! If you wish to fill the world with destruction... Oh, so that's why you released Shadow from the base. Of course, the Eclipse Cannon is now highly reactive and explosive. This is because the Chaos Emerald is overpowered. If the colony collides with Earth, it will shatter into pieces like my grandfather put That mad science! That should be you, right? We have to stop the space colony now! The space colony arc position may have shifted due to the amount of energy given off by the emeralds. We have to stop the energy. But how? Hmm, that's it. 
There is a way to stop the energy. We have to use your emerald. You're the one that told me that the master emerald has the power to stop the chaos emerald. That's right. If I use this, I just might be able to stop the chaos emerald. The reaction of the chaos emeralds is moving toward the cannon core. It may be too late. There still may be some time left. If we pull together, we might be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. Let's get to work! What's up, guys? It's Daz here, but you don't really care. Time for the final stage. Not as Sonic as you might have thought, but actually as Tails. Now, you may have remembered from the hero story. If I go right close, first of all, I'm gonna. Whoa, how did I not face you, dude? Go! Tails, use the go move! Go! Go! Alright, let me get around. I've forgotten how you fight the guy. I'll do it when he's shooting. Okay. I uh, usually just make him go go until they explode one right in front of you. Great, so you may notice or remember from the hero story, we had a moment where we were trying to get into the pyramid. Tails got in, Sonic busted through, and Knuckles went when they got stuck at a wall or a door or whatever it was when they needed keys, right? Now it's basically the same thing, but instead of just three heroes, we now have six. Though I'm a little lost on uh, Eggman's motivations and why he wants to, you know, not destroy the world. But maybe, I don't know, maybe he wanted to just have the threat and not actually kill them. Except when he went to the cannon, he was very much trying to, you know, get them to fire onto Earth. Maybe they were firing somewhere else, but I, I don't know. The president never replied to him anyway, so who knows? Oh, maybe, maybe Eggman is just really bad at rejection. Who knows? But, uh, no, I don't know exactly why he's stopping his grandfather, but now apparently he's on our side. But we'll find that out a little well. I say we'll find that out. We'll see that in effect a little bit later. Why are my ghosts facing the wrong way? Come on, Port, you're better than this. Now, the main mechanic of this game, you may have noticed, is pausing the room to go forward. This makes any lasers, trees, and anything basically deadly. So in this case, what we need to do is lock onto it now. While this guy is down, we get past these lasers, and this is the door we're looking for. A uh, bunch of enemies to guard the thing, apparently. Otherwise, let's just use our little mini bazooka thing, and now that's our level done. Instead of having just Tails bust his way in, it's Eggman 2. Awesome. Right, now I actually know how to even fight these guys, which is very relieving. So yes, it's very much run and gun, destroy your way in. But this is just one giant six-piece mission. I really, really like it. Of course I do. I, I seem to love this game a tense, in, an intense amount. Whether it's nostalgia or just actually good game, who knows? Right, now, if I... Oh, I was going to say, if I use the go thing at you, or the ole, as Eggman says, then theoretically I would have hit the other one, but it still never happened. Oh, well. Yup. Let's go down. I'm not sure if we've ever gone on one of these that goes down before. Perfect. It's a bit weird having to wait, though. I'm not used to that. Oh, we can still... Yes, we can break still games again. Wasn't sure. I think pretty much everyone gets the ability to. I just apparently didn't get it with Shadow for some reason. Maybe he doesn't get one. I wouldn't know. Oh, even when they're frozen, that works. Now, this is a fun room. You can probably see how it works already. Uh, this is a really good time to learn that extra hover move. Apparently, I had it just a tiny bit off, which is a shame. Okay, that'll do. Lovely. You can see exactly how this works. You can see the arrows telling you which direction they go. I'm not sure which one we want to be on here, if I'm honest. That one, the one that goes up. There we go. I wasn't sure where it went up. The X is all we get as an indication. And this is the door forwards. Nice that they're all automatic, huh? Wouldn't it be annoying if they were each you know, actually shut or locked or something? I don't know. And hey, guy, I need you again. Thank you. Just didn't want to get pushed into the acid laser, whatever he has them. Bad guys, you gonna show up on me? Actually, no. Okay. Now here's the here's what I was mentioning way ages ago. This platform is a trap, and it again got me because apparently I can't not stand on the thing without falling with it or hovering or whatever my issue was. I can't remember. 
And now it's the classic Mission Impossible. Dodge the lasers. Don't also get hurt by the enemies as well. Otherwise, survive these three. Thank you. Hit the thing to make the platform nice and slow. And I'm not even going to try for the balloon, actually. I, I don't I don't want to. So, bye-bye. These guys, again, are as big a pain as usual. Oh, wow. I, used to, I remember I said that they're good for Eggman, but maybe not. Oh, I didn't hover. I mean, I... There we go. Okay. And then do it again with this guy. It almost feels like it's, it, you have to get the hover thing on this. No? Maybe I have to lift it up over there. I can't remember how I do this anymore. Like, because I can't get behind on him. But you can. Maybe I got on the wrong side. Hold on. Let me wait and get to the other end. Please don't be too low. Good. Oh, well, that works too. All right, fine. And now we bust it through the door. It takes four legs to get through properly. Four mech legs. Yes, and now it moves on to the finding aspect of the game. And that's where we get Rouge and Knuckles in. Now, what you want to do is you want to climb. You're looking for a switch at the very top of these towers. You see there's these big white squares that are going to block your path going higher and higher. So you need to switch between the four pillars to eventually get to the top of that one over there. At the very top is a switch that freezes time. With this, you'll see uh, something should open up to you if my eyes are even good at deceiving me. Down there. We can now get through the water and that down here. Beautiful. I'm surprised the Rouge could actually keep the fight like that. Okay, didn't think jumping was all we needed. Let's get down here. Now, we are looking for something around here. No, we're not. We want to just get through this corridor, which we can't do while these blocks are here. So freeze time so you can get past. You better break these guys while they have no conscious. Oh, you're here too. Oh, get out of here. Thank you. And you. Uh, you know what? Maybe I don't need to call about you. Just going to freeze time as it is. Wow. Whoa, that's awesome, actually. Get out of here. Ooh. <laughs> That might be a little out of place, but hey, here's a chow key. I'm not sure how, who's going to come out of that. Maybe just Rouge and we get a break? Who knows? But there's the switch. Nice and easy, eh? Now what we need to do is go all the way back, which isn't even a trouble, because nothing crushes you, I don't think. We just need to take the normal route. Though I almost fell into the acid. Or whatever it's supposed to be. Can we go through this? I think we can. No, we can't. Oh, okay. I thought you'd be able to do it like the other way, but... Nope. Right, switch is down here, so ooh, let's not get into the acid again. And it's just a simple climb back, hoping you can do it in time. Which I can't. Alright, is there another switch around? A higher up one? An easier one? Ooh, whoa, that's... Maybe it's not acid, but it's, it's scary, whatever it is. I'm missing how I'm going to possibly get through this, you know? Maybe I need to hit the other switch because it lasts longer or something. Hold on. Give me a moment. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I think it might just be easy to do it from here because you you're already up high. So you could... Well, no, this is down low. So I don't know. Not when you have... Oh! There's a spring. Alright, that would make things a hug a lot easier. Yeah, look at that. See? Much better. And the final switch is here. Well, it's not the final switch, but you know what I mean. And a little bit later... Alrighty, and for this, you need to go underwater. If you have the air necklace, which you can get from the aquatic mine, everything's a little bit easier for you. Now, what we want to do is not go that way. Okay. Uh, there's probably a door that's just only available for Knuckles, which is what I'm going to keep an eye out for. Oh, it's just this switch again. Any chance it stops the laser this time? No, of course it doesn't. Alright. 
I'll do some swatching, swatching, because I don't actually remember exactly where it is. <coughs> there is a door or a pathway opposite the, um, the main door that I just showed off at the very beginning. But I'm, uh, I, th I think that is where we go at the end, but right now we do need to go somewhere around this place. Honestly, I'm not sure, so I'm just uh, sort of experimenting. But I feel like they wouldn't give us access to this place if there was absolutely no reason. But you know what? Yeah, I guess it was just animals. Alright. I mean, we don't have a lot to give, so I guess it would be helpful for the chow key. Sure. And down here. There we go. Thank you. What a what a good reward, huh? Alright, let's get through, please. Something's shooting about, but I can't tell what. But I won't bother. Now there's definitely something to play with. In fact, let me go up the top and uh, well, I'll have a quick look around as I go through here up again. But otherwise, let me have a look at the top again because there was something I was supposed to go to first. I could be wrong. Apparently this bit's a little iffy on me, memory-wise. Okay, that's him gone, at least. That. There's a laser and some steel containers, but I think I feel like we just need to turn off the lasers for now. There's no door directly beneath it. There's that. That's different. I don't remember that. Okay. Interesting. So I guess there are air bubbles here. That's helpful for if, you know, you can't breathe. Um, I'm pretty sure we need to go through there, but I, I just can't work out how. Yeah, because you can't go through the acid. I forgot about it. I forgot the acid was there. Oops. I keep calling it acid. It might not actually be acid. Excuse me. Is this not some people's nightmare? This entire place just full? I'd be pretty scared. What is shooting at me? Oh, look, it did stop the laser. No, it, no, it didn't. You would have thought it would stop. Is this not laser? Is it bars? It's bars. It's painful bars. Let me try that again. Just in case something else is like misinterpreted. So something is definitely shooting at me. I can't tell where. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? Is it because I'm taking too long or something? Nope, I cannot get through. Okay. I guess I'll keep searching. Find the switch that opens the door. I also like how it actually freezes your time. Your legitimate time freezes when you're doing this. It's pretty cool. Okay, you know what? I'm not going this way then, because it's clearly not right. It's not working, and I've already been here. I'm just legitimately lost a little bit, because nothing else is really working. Like, there's no other doors. Am I missing it? There's this. Which I can stop with air, with freezing space. Freezing space, freezing time. I'm guessing that was it then. Let's, let's see. But it's just black. Nope. Right, let, me, let me keep checking somewhere. Oh, I've worked it out. It's the reversal. So freezing doesn't stop those lasers, but freezing, I bet, stops the lasers up top, huh? Let's find out if that's right. Yep, look at that. Like freaking magic. Damn it. And that's... Okay, it's a switch that stops those lasers. Alright, now I feel dumb, and it's going to make this whole mission seem super long when it shouldn't have been. Oh, well. Like, look at that. We're coming to ten minutes. Is it going to kill us at ten minutes? No, it's not. Okay. Thank goodness. Super simple, I just, like, I, I worked out the puzzle just in the wrong place. Ooh. Oh, right, yes, now this comes in. Airflow, even though it didn't, right, so, I guess it's because it was bars, not lasers, even though the bars hurt us last time, I thought, hey, maybe freezing time doesn't stop lasers, but hey, freezing time does stop the lasers. And then alternatively, I remember you're here now, you can't go through the airflow when you froze time, but you can go through this airflow when you freeze time. The level design seems a little inconsistent to me. But hey, what do I know, huh? This is time so you can just get through? Yes. But it's a little tight. And 
then Mission Impossible again, because I guess everyone has to do it occasionally. Oh, some extra things down here. What are they? Rings. Is that it? Freezing time again. Okay, I'll do it. If I can touch it. There we go. Oh, and then we need to stay down so that if we do get stuck, we're on the cages. No, no. I also just need to not miss the switch is the main thing I need to do there. But I, I kind of had it. Why are you not hitting it, Knuckles? Knuckles! There you go. Here we are. Success. Progress. And this is the other switch we're looking for. System alert. System alert. Primary security alarm system terminated. Initiate final defense system. Excuse the hassle. Alright, now it's time for proper Sonic Speed. Bam! And this is just a nice, fun little Sonic level to death. This is much better. I mean, I actually timed this, this freezing time right for a start. I'm not going to skip over you. Yes, I am. No, I'm not even. Because apparently that's the only way forward. No, I've lost. Oh, it was a trick. Go the other way. I do not remember that. That went right over my head. Okay. Now, interestingly, there was a move where you could charge up <coughs> Sonic Spin Dash and attack like a bunch of enemies in front of you. It's a lot of fun against that guy, like in the first Sonic game, Sonic Adventure game, but it's not the case anymore. Oh, well. Ooh. Can I not really go down there? All right. Yeah, I definitely can. All right, I just got to fight the current. But teaching you, there's a current here. And freeze time to make the current irrelevant. Why can I not hit these switches? Never had an issue as a kid. And we're through. Let's go the fun way. That was death. Oh. Oh, and it took us way back here? You're kidding me. All right, back again. I assumed we had to go the other way because I knew we fell, but oh well. Hey look, it's a lot like Sonic Adventure 1, don't you think? It's cool, I like it. In fact, we've even got the exact same theming with the snakes and the music. And it all leads down, way, way down to this. Uh, a, a, a really big, long, elongated wide slide, huh? Here we are. Definitely could have done that faster without knuckles about, but hey, you know, it happens. Huh, no problem. Huh.